Alright, what's up Amaya? And today I'm going to show you how you can update Freya to the latest version. First you need to open Freya. This is gonna give you the option to update. You need to press the update option. Also you can download Freya if you do not have one right from the GitHub page. Link will be given in the description. Okay, the update has been downloaded completely. This is gonna extract. This is gonna ask for some files which we need to install. We need to press yes and wait for the website to load. I have already downloaded it, so I know how to do that. So I'm gonna do this for you guys to see how this works. Just gonna have to wait for it. There's nothing you can do in here. You just need to wait and the download will be started very soon. All right, then the downloading is started. We're gonna wait for it to finish the downloading or I'm just gonna skip it for you guys so you can go ahead and see what is going on without wasting your time, of course. Okay, now the download is almost finished. Okay, it's done. Let's open the file and install the .NET Core. We're just gonna say yes to the prompt. And installation is almost finished. Okay, the installation is successful. Let's close it and get back to Freya. Let's open it up. As you can see there is no other version downloaded you just need to open the one that you already have or you can download the latest from the link given below or you can also watch my video how to download Freya that is gonna be so easy for you this rest of this is gonna be simple as that here you can see Freya is now running we don't need to join the discord okay now there are more here the manual auto and manual legacy this is the auto mode which is not recommended. I definitely recommend you to download the use the manual mode. This is the easiest one. You need to put the model number here. For example, I'm gonna put the model number for Node 9, which is a very old phone but a legendary device. Here we go. I'm gonna use my CSC code, which you can find on the back of the device or in the software information section of your phone. Or you can also use the auto mode and it's gonna auto detect the file. Okay, the file has been fetched. You need to press the download and save. The rest of the step is very simple as to my previous videos. So this is just a change in the layout and it's gonna also gonna make it more faster and seamless UI. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That's been it. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Oh, sorry, I just opened it twice. So let's close this one. The download is now continued. Or you can do the else, something else. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.